everybody who's cooked on a barbecue before, most of you would have had a go and an attempt at doing a beer can chicken. You're roasting a whole chicken on the big green egg with a can of beer inside it. So as it cooks, it steams, all right? It bubbles away and it helps keep it lovely and moist and tender inside. But we're gonna add loads of flavors to this one. So the first thing we're gonna do is open our can of beer. We're gonna pour about half of the can onto our smoking chips, okay? To give them a good soak. Then the can of beer, we're gonna sit onto a tray take our chicken, take the knuckles off. Now this bit, called the Parsons nose, we're gonna cut it off at a point so that chicken now sits flat. And at this point, salt, pepper into the cavity a little bit as well. And then put the chicken on top of the can of beer, all right? You're gonna need about a two kilo chicken, okay? Because otherwise it won't fit. And once the chicken sat on the beer, that is ready to go the barbecue and the barbecue is set here it's around about 220 degrees okay it's quite a high heat but that's perfect for roasting the chicken so you can see in the big green egg right now I've got the convection plate okay and that's really important because we're going to cook directly onto it so you can use the chicken legs to kind of steady itself and you just stand it up inside your barbecue like that close the lid we'll have a little look at that in around about half an hour to make the flavored butter then to baste on top of our chicken we've got here some softened butter, one teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, two cloves of garlic. Just gonna grate them. And then the gochujang. Now this is such a beautiful flavor. And that works so well to go on top of the chicken as we baste it as it's getting roasted. Then into the butter, one tablespoon of fish sauce. Okay, so this is really salty. And one tablespoon of soy sauce. And you just kind of work it all together to get a softened kind of paste ready to be brushed onto the chicken. The next thing, so I'm just going to drain the beer off from these chips. We're going to throw in these chips just into the coals, close the lid, and go and have a little look at that chicken in about half an hour. After about 35, 40 minutes, chicken looks like that. I'm just going to get this butter and just start basting it on. Give it a good brush. And you can see as you brush that butter on, it gives it a lovely coating. We'll come back to that every five or 10 minutes and just give it another brush. Keep going till all of this gorgeous flavor is kind of stuck on the outside of that crispy and sticky chicken skin. So after about an hour and a half, you end up with something that looks as gorgeous as that. You can give it a last little brush. Now at this point, it's gonna be quite careful. Take it off onto your tray. I'm going to try and remove that beer can. How amazing does that look? I mean, it just looks incredible, doesn't it? I'm going to leave it to rest now for around about 15 to 20 minutes before we carve it. So the chicken is cooked. What we're going to do is just take the legs off and you can see how beautifully moist and juicy it is. Absolutely delicious. Look at that, where it's been steamed in the beer the gorgeous flavor that marinade all around the top of it so then just to go on top of the chicken I've got here some sliced red chilies just kind of sprinkle them all over it's got that beautiful Korean style butter glaze that's gone all over it served here a little bit of kimchi salad kind of like fermented cabbage with chili paste so it's absolutely stunning some gorgeous mayonnaise for dipping in that a beautifully messy, super delicious beer can chicken. Cooked. My big green egg.